Hi, Rocky. Congrats on the win and the goal. Um, you were able to play more in the eight in this match rather than the six, which you've been doing for most of the season. I was just wondering if you could talk about having a little more license to get forward and playing in that position in this match. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, the eight is, you know, that's my position. Uh, I can play other positions, but the eight is the one that I feel uh, more like myself. So today that I had the opportunity to play there. Um, yeah, I just told myself to, you know, to enjoy it and responsibly, obviously. But uh, uh, like I said, it's just it feels more like myself. I have a little bit more freedom, like you said, uh, more. Um, I, can, I can be more creative with the ball off the ball join the attack. So yeah, I had a blast. Right next is Annie Peterson with AP. Annie, we're having some hard time hearing you. If you could try that again. All right, Annie, we're gonna come back to you. We will go to Jackie with Women Kickballs next. Thank you. Uh, congrats, Rocky, on your performance tonight. I just wanted to, um, yeah, kind of like looking ahead a little bit. Um, the Thorns will be hosting another home match in a few weeks against Kansas City. So um, how do you just hope to take the success from tonight of a 3-0 win and then work off that for the next match? Thanks. I think... Um we always talk about Portland standards um, and we want to win everything, but to win everything, we have to take it one game at a time uh, with the FIFA window coming, you know, I feel like, and with this match has just ended, we have to focus on, you know, recovering and, you know, whatever comes next. And when the week against Kansas city comes, we'll obviously make sure that we do our homework and we prepare mentally and physically uh, you know, to dominate and to keep growing as a team uh, to make sure that, uh, yeah, we progressively grow uh, to make sure that hopefully we get to, you know, the playoffs and and keep winning. But, uh, yeah, uh, Thorn Sanders is always, you know, uh, it's high. You know, we want to <laughs> we want to make our best. We want to win, but also we want to make sure in, in that we win in the way like quality, right, with our identity and st stuff like that. Next is Caitlin Best. Um, hi, Rocky. Angela was talking about um, the, she said that the, the midfield, you guys watched some film of yourselves last week and you were talking about um, needing to keep a little more discipline and needing to keep people filling spaces as other players were going forward. Um, could you talk about that a little bit? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I couldn't hear well. Um, so, so Angela was saying that you guys watched some film of the midfield um, last week, and you guys talked about needing to keep a little more discipline, keep some players holding areas of the field where maybe before everybody had been running forward. Um, could you talk about that and, and just talk about how you get, you think you guys did with that tonight? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what Ange was referring to, but I, I, I can uh, guess what she's talking about, and I think she was uh, just – saying about the importance of um, when she talks about discipline, I think what she means is uh, making sure we're in the right spots to make life difficult for the other team and also to make ourselves available uh, for our own teammates, right? So um, yeah, it was really important today. I think we were able to find those spots. Um, I think soccer is such a tactical and it's such a tactical game and you have to be uh, smart to play it so I think um, yeah in the midfield especially where there it's so crowded <clears throat> but also it, it I love I love the game because uh, even the defender it, it's it's a teamwork right so we we try to create spaces or to make ourselves available for the defenders to zip in a pass uh, or to open spaces for other people so I think uh, I still got to watch film obviously we just win and we feel great about ourselves but Obviously, there's also a lot we have to improve on, so I still have to go back and, and watch our film. But I think today we were able to find um, uh, spaces in the midfield and we found each other. We connected really well. That's what it feels like today. Next is Paul Danzer of the Portland Tribune. 
Hey, Rocky, just talk about your goal and, and what you saw when you made that run when Lynn's went dribbled into the box. Um, well, I just saw Lynn's going end line. And um, <clears throat> typically when someone goes end line, it's either a cross back or a, a cross that's lofted for the second post. So I just made sure, and we've been talking about making sure to make those uh, near post runs. So um, I, I just, I had a feeling that the ball was going to come back. If it didn't, that's fine. I would drag players, but uh, yeah, the ball came through. I just saw the little window and took a leap of faith running forward. And yeah, she just knew someone was going to be there and it happened to be me. And uh, it's always so cool to, to um, score in Providence Park for our fans and for our team. All right, we have time for two more questions. The next is going to be Melina Gaspar of Football Ace. Hola, Rocky. Felicidades en Portugal. Uh, quería que me dijeras un poquito acerca del sentimiento de anotar en Providence Park, aunque ya lo dijiste en inglés, pero si lo pudieras decir en español, teniendo en cuenta que era tu sueño eh, hacerlo y ya lleva, si no me equivoco, dos goles en lo que va del año. Y también si me puedes contar un poquito acerca de la conexión con Lindsay, que parece ser especial en la cancha. Gracias. Sí, anotar aquí en Providence Park es, es uno de los sentimientos más bonitos. Eh, yo creo que el espíritu de la comunidad y, y los fans aquí son, eh, nos apoyan de forma fervente. Entonces, eh, anotar siempre es demasiado chiva. Amo anotar en Providence Park y... Y sí, Lindsay es eh, de las mejores futbolistas del mundo para mí. Eh, yo creo que tenemos un... Eh, yo pienso que el fútbol es un idioma y creo que nosotras entendemos ese idioma. Entonces eh, nos entendemos bastante bien en la cancha, nos encontramos la una a la otra eh, y me encanta jugar con ella. All right, last question came from Annie Peterson of AP. She was wondering if you plan on joining Costa Rica's national team during this break, or if you hope to play for the team at some point this year. Yes, um, actually I have national team camp uh, tomorrow I'm leaving. Uh, we have two friendly games against Guatemala at, in Costa Rica. So uh, yeah, tomorrow traveling home uh, and for national team duty.